Hello, hi, how you doing? It's Jim. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here. <laughs> I told you it wouldn't take long. Any explanation needed? Probably not. Um, runner up in album of the month for April. And I kind of said, you know what, we got to listen to this anyway. I think whether this is something we do anyway, where we do album of the month, uh, whatever comes in second place, we'll get to play at some point during the rest of the month rather than it being sort of the, the main event. Maybe, I don't know. Not promising anything. But brain salad surgery, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. I have to say, it is the coolest album sleeve ever. It is just such a really, really cool thing. And then it opens up like that. And then it opens up like that. And there she is inside. Um, there's a, a booklet inside as well as the sleeve. And the sleeve has a photo and some sleeve notes. The booklet has... Not booklet, actually. It looks like it's a poster. It is. It's a poster. With all their faces cut out and... Oh, it's... Too much to look at. Too much to look at. <laughs> um, right. Have we got a track listing for this? Side one. Jerusalem uh, by Parry. Uh, arranged by Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Takata. Um... Not the Bach version. It's a piano concerto, no, an adaption of Ginatira's first piano concerto fourth movement. Oh, this is all too. I can't work out what's going on here. Carnival. I don't know what's on. What? what where? Where are we? What is this? Side one and two. Carnival evil. Carnival nine. Uh, first impression part one. Carnival nine. First impression, part two. Second impression, third impression. Well, what's that and what's that? Oh, why can't they just... Side one, still, you turn me on. Benny the Bouncer. Oh, can't they just print a normal blooming... Not a set list, what is it? A running order, like any other band might do. It's so confusing. It might have it written on the disc. Let's have a look. So I just retrieved the the record from the from the uh, right. So we've got Jerusalem, Takata, Still, you turn me on, Benny the Bouncer, Carnival Nine, First Impression, Part One on side one. <laughs> You're keeping up, side two, Carnival Nine, First Impression, Part Two, Second Impression, Third Impression. <laughs> I don't want to share my impressions. <laughs> I don't think that's what it means, is it? Do a very good Tommy Cooper. <laughs> Just like um, so we've got five, I think five tracks. I don't know if the five tracks will be allowed. We may need to break this up. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to try. Everybody, I mean, maybe if you're not English, you don't know Jerusalem, but it's a very, very English piece of music. I'm trying to think. It said Harry, is it? Is it Benjamin Harry? It's the composer of this.
Hubert Parry, not Benjamin. I don't know who Benjamin Parry is. think necessary and I, i'm sorry i'm probably in the minority of that but i actually really really like the original orchestral version of that and it just that feel felt very sort of lightweight in comparison is beyond belief in some ways that Emerson, Lake and Palmer were once pretty much the biggest band in the world. It's just, it just doesn't compute. It's amazing, amazing music. It just does not, I can't understand. But I love it that the population of the Western world loved this music so much they wanted to Sounds like timpani, but being played with drumsticks rather than uh, mallets. This is quite a hard crack when the stick's hitting it. So you can hear the difference there.
crackly old record, this. Seventy-two, whatever year this came out, this must have been what the future sounded like. What year did this record come out? I like, uh, really like Greg Lake's um, sort of little uh, musical, little musical pieces. I mean, there's good pick things. It sounds so lovely. Tell you that it all 
Then he's a bouncer. He was the bouncer at the Paddy <laughs> Dance. He slashed his granny's face up, given half a chance. He saw you back to pieces, all full less than half a quid. He thought he was the meanest until he met with Savage Sid. Now, since he was a greaser with some nasty boots, he pulled a pint of Guinness of a band. Sounds like a ben punk song. <laughs> the other albums. Have I heard this already? I can't remember. <laughs> Sounds very out of place, but amusing. Well, the seeds of winter 
rather bewildering you know the like, first time listen to this because it is so everywhere out there it just I think it's the sort of music that makes a lot of sense on repeated listening Very familiar sounding vocal delivery, isn't it, for ELP? I have heard this on the that live record.
Oh. Are we there? Is that the end of side one? I think it is. <sighs> wow. Well, it's not initially instantly accessible music. It's, it's quite challenging in places. But the more that that carnival went on, uh, first impression, the more I got it and was getting into it. Um, so I think side two is going to be a, a great deal. Well, I don't say fun, but I'm really looking forward to sort of seeing where this, where the, how this sort of um, develops and grows and where it goes to. Um, the first piece on here, Jerusalem, for me, uh, felt unnecessary. And and I, it kind of, because the original Parry piece, Hubert Parry, no less, not Benjamin, um, was, is so, such a huge piece of music with the, organ and with the choir and when it's sung with passion by sort of uh, hundreds and hundreds of people in a concert hall it feels powerful whereas this kind of just felt almost throwaway um and i know it's not obviously they spent a lot of time working on it but it just it didn't deliver it felt it felt very sort of pale in comparison to the original piece of music um however the second bit, which was uh, Takata, I didn't know the original version of that. That sounded really fun. And I liked what um, uh, Carl Palmer was doing, all the percussion-y stuff on there as well. That was really, really cool. Uh, Greg Lake's little guitar ballady one, Still I Love You or something. Still I'm, still I, what is it called? Still, you turn me on. Oh, that's it. It was lovely. Benny the Bouncer. Well, what was that? What was that about? And I say, I think that I just read somewhere that featured a very, very rare vocal performance by Carl Palmer. Was he doing the sort of real sort of uh, the gruff voice? There? Anyway, it sounded like a sort of a very early punk type song. And then obviously we had uh, the beginning of the carnival suite. Did you call it sweet. Anyway, carnival impression one enjoyable very very enjoyable i am looking forward to side two very much indeed but i'm not going to be able to listen to it now i've run out of time today so i'll have to listen to it tomorrow but i will see you all on the next video whenever and whatever that is until then this is jim over and out